Alright, hello YouTube. I haven't made a video in a while, but I just wanted to make a video because I was watching Catfish, right? And it just reminded me of this Catfish experience I had, like, years ago. So, this is like, way back in the MySpace days, and I was, like, 15, 16. I actually had a Moco Space. I'm pretty sure some of y'all are like, what the fuck is a Moco Space? Moco Space is supposed to be, like, a MySpace for, like, the mobile web. So, anyway, enough about that. I was talking to this guy on there, right? His name was quote-unquote Taylor. And, you know, things got a little cool, you know. We were talking casually, started flirting and all that stuff. Mind you, I was in the closet at the time, so of course I wasn't trying to, like, you know, be all open about it. I was trying to be discreet. So, I was talking to people from, like, way New York, Texas, Atlanta, stuff like that. I was talking to nobody who was, like, in the same city as me. Which probably is why I went through some of the experiences I did. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's a whole other story, though. But, back to... So, me and him were talking for a minute. And he decides to, like, call me on the phone or whatnot. And, you know... How some people say, like, you don't sound anything like how you look. This guy sounded nothing like how he looked. It was just like, he sounded a little bit, I wouldn't say older, like old, but he sounded like he was at least like 27, 28. And mind you, this boy is supposed to be 18. And... So, that kind of rung up a red flag for me. And also, not asking to send me a photo. Mind you, wait, let me, wait, let me draw back for a minute. So, mind you, this is the MySpace days. I had, like, at least 112 photos on my MySpace page at this time. He only had eight. You only have eight photos on your MySpace page? Oh, um, that's kind of weird to me. I'm pretty sure most of you out there had at least 50 photos on your MySpace page. Of yourself. Like, he only had, like, eight pictures, and it was just of him, and they were all kind of just random. They didn't seem like they were all taken around the same time. It was just really weird. I didn't really notice at first until I really started thinking about it, and I'm like, why well, I still have eight photos. So I asked him to send me a picture to my phone. And of course, he sends one of those eight photos to my phone, and that really ranked up a red flag. Like, why can't you take a new picture or send me a different picture? Yeah. So, I decided, okay, let's webcam chat. So, this is back when AIM had the webcam chats. You know, like the little chat you can talk to. It's kind of like Skype, whatever, you know, way back when. So, I decided to talk to him on there. His webcam is broke. Mind you, he can see me very well, but I can't see him. I can only hear him. Another red flag. So, like, a few months went down the line. Nas kind of was over it. Sides called quits. And that was that. Mind y'all, was like 15, 16 when that happened. So, a year or so later, I was 17. I was in San Francisco. In this mall. And I see Taylor walk up to him like, Hey, what's up? How are you? This boy was like, who the fuck are you? And I'm just like, you're a tailor, right? And he's like, no, my name is Jason. And I'm like, ew, my bad. <laughs> that was so embarrassing because at least like five, six people stopped and looked and was like, what's going on over here? Like, he just walked in the boy and called him Taylor. And then like his friends with him too. And she was just like, the fuck? And I was like, oh my gosh, let me just cut my head and walk away. That was so embarrassing. I never actually told anybody about that whole little experience because I was so embarrassed. So, yeah. It was clear that the guy I was talking to was clearly a fake. And I was just kind of, I don't know, embarrassed about the whole situation. But at the same time, it was like, I was a teenager. That happens. 
after that whole experience, I just kind of came out the closet. Not because of that experience, but, you know, after I came out the closet, it was like, there's no point in going through all the trouble of trying to date somebody online, you know? Now that everybody knows I'm gay, I can just be out about it. But, yeah. That's my little story. I hope you guys enjoyed it for what it is. It's just a cute little story. Don't... Yeah. So, I'm just leave it at that. You guys enjoy your day, or night, or afternoon, wherever you're watching this. Peace.